This is the monster's lair, your first look at the apartment of the suspect in the Batman movie Massacre. Meanwhile, he reportedly has become so difficult to deal with that jail guards are forcing him to wear a creepy contraption. James Holmes has been spitting at prison guards so much, he's being forced to wear a special protective mask like this. The mask is simple and lightweight, but it forms an effective barrier preventing inmates from spitting on guards. It goes over their head like so and blindfolds the inmate and also disorients them. It's tied firmly on the back of their neck, and because the inmate's hands are handcuffed behind him, he can't take it off. Here it is in action, used by police subduing a prisoner in court during an insanity hearing. It's a grim reminder of the mask worn by Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs. And it's earned the 24-year-old accused killer the nickname Hannibal Holmes. He reportedly keeps asking what's going on and claims to be suffering from amnesia with no memory whatsoever of the shooting. He's also belly aching about prison food and some days reportedly doesn't eat at all. Workmen have been busy cleaning James Holmes' apartment, boarding up shattered windows and removing shards of glass. His neighbors have been allowed to return to their homes, but some say they plan to move out rather than live in a building linked with such a horrific tragedy. Jesse Jackson was a surprise visitor to the apartment building and called for tougher gun control laws. His capacity to have access to this kind of weaponry legally is a threat to us all. 28-year-old shooting victim Pierce O'Farrell was wounded in the arm and leg in the massacre. Amazingly, he says he forgives Holmes and actually wants to meet him face to face. I forgive him with all my heart. When I saw him in his hearing, um, you know, I felt nothing but sorrow for him. A worker at the jail is claiming that Holmes actually asked him how the Dark Knight Rises ends. The worker says he refused to answer. Next.